yeah. This just keeps getting better and better. Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron. And for today's video, we're headed to the world of Last Epoch once again. EHG has recently dropped 0.9i, which is a patch to fix a lot of bugs, help with some performance, and give us improved visuals. And right now in Last Epoch, we have the largest player base we've ever seen. Hit 40,500 concurrent players during the 0.9 launch, which is huge because previously the highest we ever hit was 7,200. Now, there's a lot of players having fun. There's a lot of people saying this game is addicting. There's a lot of people singing Last Epoch's praises. Now, that being said, there is one area where I normally hear a fairly consistent theme, and that is around visuals. It doesn't matter how fun LE is, it is never going to look like AAA Diablo 4 from Blizzard. And I think most people know and understand that. Last Epoch was is built on Unity as an after hours passion project. But that being said, Unity still has a lot you can do to improve the visuals and give that amazing performance and visual feel. And that's what I want to showcase inside of this video, because with 0.9i, which is now available, there is some visual improvements to the game. And we've already covered that video, breaking down what's actually in that patch notes, but now I want to show you. And for someone like me that has put, you know, I think I'm at 15, 1600 hours into the game, it adds a lot. Sometimes the little things start to add up. All right, enough talking. Let's start off with our first visual improvement. And if you just downloaded this patch, you would notice this stuff immediately. Let's just run over here to our chest. And what do you notice right off the bat? It's now got a glowing golden blue flowing beam coming out of it. And you will notice that um, beams are going to be a pretty constant throughout this video. Now, a lot of times new players, when you finish the end of time and you finish your echo run, You'll run over here to your chest to put stuff away. You'll come over here to buy shards and sell things. But if you're a brand new player, this chest actually didn't always stick out to people. And I know people that have skipped it. Not anymore. You've got a big hulking beam. Also, when you click on the chest, listen. Okay. Now, I don't know if you noticed that because it happened really fast. Don't worry. We're going to do some gameplay and I'll show you some other things. There is now more prominent gear that you can actually see dropped on the ground and you will notice a couple of beams here for magic and rare items. So gear drops, sounds, and this chest now have improved visuals, okay? That's just a taste of what I'm gonna show you. Now moving on to the next visuals that are very different and this is health potions. And as you can see, I don't want to get too close to it because I will pick it up. The health potion is also more pronounced and it has its own little beam. You can also, it's got a little bit of a new design as it actually sits on the ground. And maybe you will be lucky enough to see your health potion drop as a beer. It could actually transform into something other than beer as well. So health potions, new visual as it drops as well. And as you come over here, you will notice that based upon the rarity of the item, the beam moves up, right? Because it's more pronounced. So you can see that my loot filter killed this, so you can't actually see it, but the beam is still there. And exalted items now kind of have this twice the size beam, and you see this like purple mist coming out of it. I feel like it adds a nice aesthetic to the game. Health potion, you can really see it and you are never gonna run past those exalted items. Now I do have an ask of EHG. I am hoping, and this is something that is just my personal preference, that you could toggle off beams. So example here of stuff that you have hidden in your loot filter. I feel like that would be cool that just like, you maybe you could still see the item, but you wouldn't see the, you know, the yellow there. But overall, it is a 
huge improvement from a visual perspective. Keys also have a distinct visual. As you can see here, it looks like Darth Vader's lightsaber coming out in this little pouch for your lightless arbor key. So again, it is much more pronounced and you will not miss it listen to see if you hear a difference in how the items sound as they drop did you hear it it's like a swoosh almost okay another thing listen to this you ready unique items now have a distinct sound when they drop Did you hear that? Let's play it again. Now, I know what you're probably thinking if you are still watching Aaron, a lot of this stuff is really small. It's minuscule. Who cares? The idea is, is that a lot of little things will start to add up. Maybe for this patch again, they focus on item drops and item feel and that visual improvement when it comes to beams and making things look more pronounced. And maybe on the next patch, they focus on minion or companion animations. And maybe the next one, they focus on enemy deaths and blood. And maybe the next one, they focus on death scenes. If you die or boss deaths, and then they throw in cutscenes. every single time they do this from a visual perspective, it's going to move last epoch up at least two standard in the industry from a visual perspective, or maybe even better. I'm excited when I see this, especially as a player that has put in so many hours, noticing something different, uh, adding to the experience. I really like it. This is the actual written out communication on what you just saw. All loot now has an animation when it drops onto the ground. Updated all the loot models on the ground. They are now more prominent and look better. Add a generic bag model for small items such as jewelry, relics, belts, and an idol model for idols. Updated all visual effects on items and gold on the ground. The vertical colored beams. Exalted items now have their own visual effect rather than using the effect of rare items. Added a visual effect to potions on the ground to make them more noticeable in combat. Updated visual effects for all chests being opened. Added a special visual effect to the echo of the world chest, which is the first thing I showed you. So that's the video. Pretty short and sweet. I keep hearing about visuals over and over again. So I thought, hey, I want you to know that they're working on it. They are showing us that they are working on it through their efforts. So here is a small example of that. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you're happy with what they put in. That is my one ask to be able to turn off the beams, but if they have to be on, I will take it. Two asks at the end of this video. Ask number one, I'm hoping today is the day I have earned your subscription. Hoping today is the day you make the decision to push that little red button. I would really appreciate it only if you think I deserve it. Ask number two, check out my Patreon. Thank you to the first 61 members that have signed up. Become an instant ARPG VIP and get Patreon exclusive content at the first link in the description. Weekly blog post, weekly podcast, access to the VIP lounge so you can chit chat with me every day, chance to win custom merch, get a special title, be able to stream and audio stream with me. Lots of goodies, including a Patreon only YouTube channel currently in the works. First video is going to be my studio tour. Hopefully you're entertained or at least learn something. Aaron, out.